Choo choo, choo choo, I'm in the choo choo. That was one of the things I was thinking of looking into is uh, see how much a train ride to Chicago is. Chicago. Rather than renting a, uh, Welcome back a car. Welcome to Chain Strap. I need to get rid of this fucking poison bullshit. I need to fucking stupid just you know take a pipette and put it in I don't your know, like yeah I, uh, I don't know how much a train ride would be I have no flipping clue man I have no idea yeah I don't know if it's you gotta go with Chicago to get on the plane to go to Japan yeah Japan the be Nihon. there for a week the Nihon going to Tokyo this fucking uh, does yep. Dennis have like a like a itinerary of what you guys are doing yep yeah we all, like, sat down in a Discord call and talked to each other about what we want to do. That's cool. I, um, I told him that I wanted to go see the temples. Uh-huh. We're also going to take a uh, short class um, on how to, uh, like, slice with a katana. Oh. <laughs> and, and shoot some bows and stuff like that. All right. Cool. So I'm like... That's interesting. I'm down to that. We're gonna go to like uh, this Pokemon Cafe thingy uh -huh. for Pokemon Go for John. Oh God. Um, I forgot John still is into that shit. Yeah. Uh. Well, let's see. There's like a bar crawl, karaoke. Karaoke. Um. It's karaoke. We're gonna go to Akihabara. Oh yeah. It's like a shopping district. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. We're gonna go to that full-scale VR room thingy. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine living in, like, a place like Tokyo, because, like, there's so many people there. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just funny, like, it's such a different, uh, way of living, you know? Yeah, it's gonna be real different, since I've never really visited, like, a big, big city... And this is like one of the biggest ones. Yeah, so. I mean, I, I, where you've you've been across the U.S. a little bit, like yeah. Florida, obviously. I mean, pretty much anybody goes to Florida, but like you know, have you been anywhere else like besides that? Like, not really. You've never been out. Like you've never been out of country, really, have you? No, no. This will be my first time out of country. We gotta we gotta take you to Canada. It's fun over there. <clears throat> it's not it's not like vastly different from America, but it's different enough. Yeah, that it's. And Sarnia is just a nice, Sarnia is just a nice area. The only real shitty thing is that when we go over there, we'd have to take the peasant lanes. Yeah, because yeah. I, I don't have the fast pass. Nope. Not that you need it, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't go to Canada enough to feel like, like I need it. Like today, like the the bridge was so backed up when I was coming home. Like you probably would probably would have taken me a few hours to get home. Oh God. And it took me, like, what, half an hour, maybe? Yeah. 40 minutes. Which is longer than normal, but... The tolls were backed up. Yeah. The tolls were backed up like crazy, but but the bridge was, like, complete... Like, cars lining, like, running across the entire thing, pretty much. Mm. Oh, my God. Just ah. fucking smack that fucking deer. You see, I'd get... Bitch. I'd get scared. I wouldn't like to sit on a bridge with a whole shit ton of cars... All fucking just sitting well, they, there. They probably stress test that thing. Yeah, I hope they do. <laughs> I mean, if you're an architect and you're building a bridge across a fucking river, like you probably have to run stress tests on it, and they maintain it. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, they're legally obligated to to maintain it. Yeah, but that doesn't always work. It is kind of it is kind of like freaky, like when you're sitting on the bridge, like, and it's happened to me, like, you know, where you're like even like towards the end of the bridge, like almost to the to the other side. And, like, you you feel the big, like, semi-trucks come down, and you feel everything, like, quaking underneath you. <laughs> it doesn't really bother me much, but it's, yeah, I can see how you, you kind of get a little uh, freaked out by it. Yeah, it's just, you know, I don't I don't want to die in a pile of rubble. Well, you would die in a river. Yeah, well, technically. <laughs> At least I'd die with you, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm trying to think. There's nothing really crazy, super special over there in Sarnia, except for my girlfriend. Yeah. Bag milk. Yeah, if you consider that special, it's definitely. They special. have, they have, they have milk and cartons too. You know. No. <laughs> they no, do. They, don't. they do. 
I've 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 looked on the internet and I've only seen bag milk. No, they, so they have it in cartons. Alyssa has gotten it in cartons before. She's a liar. She bought it in Michigan. No, she didn't. <laughs> brought it back up. I don't. I, I, I don't Canada carton. I milk. don't think they look kindly upon taking produce over the uh, over the border. Like you're not allowed to do that. I'll fucking fight those. Like I remember they said like. Like when I went in for like my uh, Nexus card interview thingy or something, did they give you a little pamphlet thingy that says like what you can and can't take over the border and like, like oranges and shit? Like you cannot do that. Yeah. Like certain produce, they like, will not let you do that. Like you cannot take it over the border. It's like, yeah, uh, I got a, a new quad and I got a, a bag of oranges. And I'm like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got this murder weapon, this rope, this um, have dead body, and then some dead oranges. body, some weed, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and a bag of oranges. Woo! They specifically they do have like a sign up specifically about weed now too, which is fun because they have that's legal over there. Yeah, and it's legal here. Yeah, ooh, and a bit of black gear. So, Sweet. so that means we can just go back and forth with it. You would probably think. Not. You would think, but you can't. Yeah, they're probably <laughs> like, no, you gotta buy our weed if you're gonna get any. You gotta buy the Canadian brand of weed. And then our, our people are like, you can't buy Canadian weed and bring it down here. You gotta buy Michigan weed that we don't Michigan have yet. Weed that we don't have yet. I don't even think they have it yet either. Like I don't even. I don't. Think I think they do in certain areas, maybe. but it's always they, like they very small amounts. Yeah, they don't have. They don't have it. Like I don't think they have it to where like they have like dispensaries for it yet. I could be wrong. Maybe they do, and I just don't know. But I don't think they do. I believe it's November is when they actually start um, We're giving out license for weird. like uh, places to sell weed. Weird. Uh, this year in Michigan, Michigan, where it might be. Which ah. we're, we are from Michigan. We are not Canadian, but we're oh. Canadian enough. Yeah, we talk like them. Yes, we just don't see a boot. We don't say a a boot. <laughs> a boot. There's this little redhead girl. Shit, where do I go? There's this little redhead girl that uh, works in my shop. Ah! Yes. Fucking. Is her, is her name Annie? No. Her Holy name. shit! I got fifty-one thousand gold. Damn. For completing a quest of some sort, I don't know what one. You must have kill been, that fucking. Must spider. have been killing spiders. <laughs> I'm gonna um, here because I'm gonna die. Probably. No, her name is Danielle. So Danny. Yeah. And uh, she's got this huge fucking nose. Just saying. Like, okay. Like her face is really tiny, except for this nose, which is guy got like god damn guy jan guy guy janted. Like that's how big it is. That I can't even fucking say the same word. Okay. Anyway, she's her, Canadian. Does her nose go up into her forehead? <laughs> <laughs> She's, you know, you know, Wind Waker, the bird girl. Yes. Yeah, that, like that. Oh wow, it's huge. She's got a big bridge, then. Huh? Yeah. Oh shit, crocodile. <laughs> ain't no crocodile. <laughs> it ain't no croc. I ain't probably gonna die here. Is that a, is that a Drake? Uh, it's a dragon of some kind. Oh, and a fucking lich. That's pretty lit. Oh god, <laughs> I'm dead here. I'm gonna die. I tell you that right now. I will die. This is like a lesser dragon, though, I think. I think this is like a... Yeah, either a drake or a wyvern or something. Yeah, they normally call these ones drakes. Like my my cat. My ex-cat. Yeah. Because he's dead. Ow! I remember him. He was a good boy. A wizard. Yeah. But yeah, no, um... Fucking, uh... Yeah, she's she's Canadian. Yeah. Like originally, but now she lives here in Michigan. Yeah. And uh she has a very manly voice. Yeah. She's just like Hey guys Hey, how you doing? Hey guys, what you talking about? Ow And it's funny. <laughs> yeah, you notice it though, right? Like yeah. the first like time you talk to somebody like that, like you notice that that's how it was with Melissa. Like I noticed it. Your life is straining. I know. I'm trying to get this dude to drop my guy. Oh, God. Oh, because he just got cursed or something. Shit. See, the lich fucking summons goddamn... Skelemans. Skelemans. Yeah, that ain't good. 
But yeah, yeah, it was just weird. I'm like, oh, that's odd. Oh, I have I had Mithridates. I could have fucking cured my poison earlier, but I didn't. Because I wasn't paying attention. That's nah, alright. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is, I mean, at least I'm trying it. Like, yeah. fucking why not, dude? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I feel like the Lich is the one that's the main problem. Yeah, but I can't fucking hit him. Oh, that's that's the killer. Everybody's dead from that. That fucking thing, like, that tornado, like, Death fucking tornado. jacks people up, dude. The cool thing about the tornado, at the very least, is you can actually summon one if you get that ability. Huh. You can, in fact. See, I wish I had a means of, like, aiming this cannon, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it just auto-targets whatever it feels yeah, like. but it's like, usually it doesn't target anything that I want it to. It's like, I want you to target Jesus, the list. I've got a fucking army of skeletons. This is not good. And they're shooting fireballs at me. Look at this fucking garbage. One hit and they're dead again. <laughs> There's so many skeletons. I don't even know where the fucking Drake went. He's over there somewhere. I'm gonna use the wake stone. I'm gonna try. Fuck it, dude. Let's just go for it. Get the sigil down. No! If I get the sigil down, that'll help. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah! Yeah, this frame rate, dude. <laughs> Where's your third? They're there. Oh, they're they're there. all there. The, the lich is the worst because it's like you can't fucking like hit him. Ooh, Tegan's uh, vocation went up, and the cops are after me apparently. Ooh. Oh, oh, get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Thank you for telegraphing your instant death move. <laughs> no problem. Get out of there! It's lightning. If we can huh? get the lich, if we can get the lich, he's like, almost I'm, there. I'm doing some damage to him at the very least. Yeah, because the dragon seems to really not be that much of a problem. He's like he's casting magic actually. The dragon. Yeah. Um, like the fireballs and shit. I'm pretty sure is him. Ow. Yeah, but it oh. seems pretty easily dodged. While well, this lich is making too many ads. <laughs> too many ads. <laughs> That's what they're called, add-ons. Oh yeah, that's true. That's a good point. I don't know what that is. Oh, he's making another fucking tornado. Shit! <laughs> Guys, go! Oh no! <laughs> and like the worst thing, like it fucking launches them up in the air, and they take damage when they hit the ground. Oh, it's hitting, oh, it's your... hitting my thing! That's yeah. sweet, dude. Look at that! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> oh, good, good job, Lich. Hurting yourself. See, this is fun. I, this is fun. <laughs> I'm having more fun with this now because of how fucking hard it is. <laughs> yeah, rather than it just being like a whole bunch rather of than fucking it just bandits, be, be, me dying constantly. Like, you're holding your own better against these two powerful motherfuckers <laughs> than, like, bandits. a group of bandits. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Cause, well, because this is... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's a lot of fucking skeletons. I know. That's so many. Get out of here. At least they're pretty easy to take out. Oh, see, look. He got... The Drake got stunned. I don't know from what, but he's got stunned, so we can hit from him. From Ax... Axeman? Axeman. All right, where's that fucking lich? Oh, yeah. oh, is that him? Is that the lich? Yeah, it's a lich. Yeah. All right, lich is down. Yeah. Dragon's down two, two bars. No, dragon's still got four. Well, he's down two bars. Oh, he's down two bars. Okay, yeah. Oh, I got a black crystal from him. That's pretty sweet. All right, now. See, isn't it weird that I use that fucking wake stone? Like, it was shitty that I had to use it right away, but fuck it, man. This is dope. <laughs> Now I don't have to worry about that fucking tornado anymore, I hope. Yeah, now it just comes down to... This sigil dragon. fucks him up pretty pretty good, too. Because, like, it just keeps hitting him. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Spot. Oh, yeah, dude. This is fun now. <laughs> this is this is a good decision. <laughs> like, I thought I would have been completely worthless here, but, like, it's actually not... You're holding your own. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm surprised that it doesn't last longer. Because it keeps hitting him so much. And I think it I think it, it might be the lower level version, but it might not be. Dude, we're jacking him up now. Yeah. Oh, come on, he was stunned, and he was fucking unstunned him. There we go. Now he's stunned again. And the, th the different... The cool thing about, like, all the different dragons, like, I think there's drakes, wyverns, and then... There's another one, I forgot what they're called. But like their their weak points, I hate that move. He roars and then he kills all my pawns with one roar. 
it's kind of a bullshit move. Because it's like, you don't even, he doesn't even physically attack them, it's just... Yeah, it's just, it like scares them out of existence. Yeah. But I was going to say, the weak point on all of them are different. One of them's on its back, and then another one's like more on its chest, and his is more on its tummy. Yeah, there we go. Sweet, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was not expecting to win that. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, dude, I got a Dragon Forged shirt! <laughs> a hemp shirt. You got a weed shirt. I got a Dragon Forged weed shirt. See, like, like that's the type of RNG. Like, why did my shirt get fucking Dragon Forged of all things? Yeah. Like, that's stupid. <laughs> So what's the difference now? It's basically, you know how like when you, you can enhance your items up to three stars? Yeah. Dragon Forge is basically like star number four. Oh, okay. So and then, and then rarifying it is like higher than that. So what happens when it gets higher up? Like, does it get more damage resistance? Or? Yeah, it's just like it just makes the numbers get bigger for the most part. Okay. Um, Oh, those are good. The salubrious brews are good. Those are like detox. They like fully heal you. Ooh, a tattered mantle. I want that. Give that to me. Yeah, vi vigilant. Um, yeah. So like, I think it'll it'll have like a little dragon next to it now. So like, when you, I think normally, maybe this is rarifying, but like, there's two other levels besides like this red dragon. So like, that's level four, let's say. And then, like, the, a blue dragon is level 5, and then, like, a golden dragon is level 6 or something. Okay. Too bad it went on to, like, a really worthless item. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The RNG is really stupid. Like, that's an, like, like, that's an item I just have on for right now until I get a better fucking shirt to wear. Well, I guess you can sell that probably, right? Maybe yeah, at, it'll some, be worth at more. some point, yeah. Give that to me. I want to wear that. Because I'm sure... Tattered mantle. I'm sure it is not, uh... Not going to give you any bonuses. No, it, it probably increased defense by like two, or something like stupid like that. But I got some good materials. I wasn't expecting to even get anything Dragon Forge during that. <laughs> but all right, that was fun. I should just do this instead. <laughs> Go around like, and fight hard well, bosses. Yeah, because it's like I don't know. I, it's fun. I mean, it's one thing fighting like all those like hard ass bandit people, but like I just kept getting my ass kicked. <laughs> At least like there's more fun here where there's like a couple of high damaging enemies instead of a fucking army of them. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. What is, what is this? Ooh, better black novelty. Get that. Yeah. So that's those are the curse items that we can um, purify. We have to pay rift crystals, which are these right here. That's usually the crystals that you get to buy higher level pawns if you want. Like, that's, like, really the only use for those. Mm -hmm. But this other part gives you more use for them, where you can actually purify really high level items and shit, which is cool. So, what did you pick up? Like, a berry? For the crystal? What are you talking about? Like, uh, what you just, a bitter something? Oh, yeah, bitter, well, this, uh, this island is called Bitter Black. Oh, okay, I thought it was, like, a berry. No, <clears throat> Bitter Black Novelty... And you can get weapons, and you can get armor, and you can get, like, certain items. Okay. So it's just random. It's random what you get when you purify them, yeah. But, like, there's... I think they go up to level 3, so I got two level 1 bitter black items right now. And these areas, all these dungeons... Like, the thing of it is, like, you can kind of tell that they kind of reuse some uh, assets and room designs around this, this island, because there's a couple of other areas in this game. Like, there is, again, like, a direct path that leads you to, like, the end of the dungeon. Yeah. So, like, this whole island is one big dungeon, let's say. Like, it's pretty much what it is. Um, but this room appears a couple of times here, like, throughout the entirety of the dungeon. Like, this is just a dead-end area. Like, mm -hmm. it's just, a, like, a little arena, arena area, rather. And then Yeah, it's where you're supposed to fight yeah. some things, and then there's loot. Oh, shit. But there's, like, treasure chests all over the fucking place. I like that you fucking face planted and, like, strawberry jam came out of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, oh, no. All oh, the jam I had in my pockets. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's why monsters want to kill you. It's because you got that jam in your pockets. Yeah, they smell it on yeah, you. Yeah, they're like, mmm, tasty. Better black gear level one. So what's the difference between a novelty and gear? I think gear is, like... It can be um, either a weapon or a piece of armor, whereas a novelty is usually like a consumable item of some kind. Oh, okay. So like that that brew that I mentioned, like that salubrious brew or whatever, like you can get 
um, like you can purify those and you get those. Oh, okay. I'll show you, I'll show you real quick. Hopefully, hopefully that Barok dude is still here because he can. I don't know. No, he can't purify shit. Oh, no, you know what? Let's do. Rarefies. Let's do this. There's a special kind of fairy stone that we get in here called lift stones, and they take us all the way back out to the beginning. So let's use the one of those. Yeah. And you find those all over the place. So. But it's okay fucking if I use them. I'll show you like a little bit of this, and then we'll call it an episode. But that was fun. Yeah, that was a lot. Of I fun. had I had a good time with that. It's much better than. Oh, fuck these bandits. Fuck these bandits, dude. <laughs> Why are the bandits stronger than a lich and a fucking dragon? Yeah, right. <laughs> they are, dude. Oh yeah, and you can collect ten macabre sculpture sculptures. That's like a collectible one that you find them all across the island. Like there's ten specifically laying around somewhere. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, those uh, those bandits should just come super, here. Yeah, right. They could own this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So we do purification. Purify... No, bro. Oh, it's not even much. No, it doesn't cost that much usually. So I got a liquid effluvium. Uh, I guess you can poison things with that. Lordly tonic. That's actually a good one. Yeah, that one co recovers all your health pretty much. Virtuoso ring. So these ones are kind of RNG items. Like you get rings and then they have different like effects and different values. All right, so I only got a couple rings and shit. Those aren't really that good but whatever at least it's something again like that's why like you know you find a, a ton of those and then like you just sell all of them and then you make like a fuck ton of money <laughs> yeah I mean nothing wrong with that yeah dose of strength heal blindness I don't need that right now put two of those away uh that tattered mantle wasn't that good so I put it away yeah, so next time on Chinstrap Chaps, whenever we play this again, we'll uh, do more of this shit. Yeah, more Dark Arisen. Yeah, Dark Arisen shit rules, dude. At some point, you gotta fight Death for me. I, even on my main file, I haven't done that, because Death legitimately fucks you up, like, so bad. <laughs> Just get good at dodging. Get good, or get dead. Heh, <laughs> heh.